Harbor News Meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Start out tonight with the green. That would be the Boston store and the clock here on our U.S. netting cam. And uh, that's just a nice shot with the Sheraton right behind it. So very tranquil, very different than it was 38 years ago. Let's talk tornadoes. And again, this is not about one tornado. As you can see, the satellite picture uh, of uh, 38 years ago with these storms building across to the west. Uh, these are the tracks of the storms on May 31st, 1985. So there were 44 tornadoes, and yeah, Canada got a bunch as well, but here in Pennsylvania, there were 20. And you've heard about Albion. Let me tell you a little bit about the one that went north of Cory. It's just as big. It was an F4. That's what it looked like. Only it didn't hit a town, it hit a cemetery, and moved into New York State. But this is some of the damage. This is a milk barn, barn I should say, out in eastern Erie County. That's what an F4 tornado will do, and thankfully, some of the animals were recovered by the folks there. And uh, let's not forget about you guys in Crawford County. Four there. In fact, one of the longest tracks was from Jamestown all the way over to Forest County. Three of them in Warren and many others in Mercer, as well as Venango, and up into Chautauqua and over into Ashtabula. But the thing that stands out that this was like Oklahoma. There was only four weak tornadoes, F-0s and 1s, out of the 20. There were eight strong ones, 2s and 3s, and eight violent ones, 4s and 5s. And the only five ever in Pennsylvania happened in Wheatland and Hermitage out of Ohio. And it's the farthest east an F-5 has ever hit in the United States, right here, 38 years ago. What a difference 38 years makes. Uh, Jenny with the shot down in second and Cherry. And of course, radar tonight is so quiet, even out to the west and down to the south. So as we take a look at severe weather, well, they're non-severe storms and they're confined in the Midwest. They've been missing us for weeks and they will continue to do that. Garden variety thunderstorms out there, but nothing tremendously severe. So let's talk temperatures. We're warm. We cool off, and of course, if you're inland south of 90 or east into the mountains, you'll be warmer than those numbers. Weather in your health, tree pollen's high. Grass is expected to be moderate and high tomorrow. UV index, again, of course, high with all the sunshine. Air quality is good right now. So on the lake tomorrow, same stuff. Waves a foot or less, light northeasterly breezes, and 52 in the water. 72 in the water in Edinburgh Lake for their triathlon coming up. On the third, 82 for our high, 64 for our low. We're nine degrees above normal. We're going to end the month below normal precipitation wise, but we still are two inches plus since January 1st. Moonlit and mild for tonight, light and variable to calm winds, low 64 in Erie, 50s elsewhere. Jet pinpoint for Erie and the lakeshore for tomorrow, 80 to 85 even with the lake breeze. South of 90, it's even warmer. Edinburgh, Cory, Franklin, Meadville, 88 to 91. East into the mountains, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties, 85 to 89. Tomorrow night, just another balmy night under the moonlit skies, 64 in town, 50s elsewhere. Seven day forecast, it's warm through Saturday. Could be a shower in the mountains Saturday, but again, not much, if any, rainfall on that seven day. The thing you'll notice is it gets cooler Mid-70s Sunday and Monday drop into the low 70s, Tuesday and Wednesday. That forecast available 24 hours a day on the weather page at YourErie.com and the Your Erie to go app. That is weather for now. Let's take a look at stocks. Sean and Jen back with more news in a minute or two.